let's take a look if we could at a, a simple picture of a computer system. Okay here, what you see, uh, let's start right in the middle, is the computer itself. It consists of main storage and the CPU. Uh, main storage uh, also consists of mostly RAM, random access memory, and a little bit of RAM, read-only memory. The CPU consists of the control unit, the brain of the computer, and the AL unit, the arithmetic logic unit. The AL unit actually does all the work. Um, okay, the purpose of a computer is to take data, raw facts prior to processing, and turn that data into information, processed, processed data. If you take um, sales invoices from a company where their salesmen make sales and they, they turn in the invoice, or excuse me, they turn in the, uh, the order form, a clerk would enter that data in, the order form, and um, some computer program would turn that data, raw facts, into information. And the information would be uh, a sales report of how that particular salesperson is performing in this pay period. Uh, it would be a summary report of which products are selling in this pay period and so forth. So the bottom line is data gets turned into information. Now we need input devices like a keyboard, a scanner, a disk drive, a digital camera. Um, we need a different kinds of input devices to take different kinds of data and get it into main storage so we can process it. And we need different kinds of output devices so we can display our newly created information. Uh, output devices would be um, your monitor, uh, printer, uh, and so forth. Uh, auxiliary storage is the place where we put things uh, we want to save for use later on. Uh, the great, the best example of that would be your, your hard drive. Um, let's take a closer look at main storage and compare main storage to auxiliary storage. Uh, main storage is uh, relatively small compared to auxiliary storage, which is large. Main storage is based on the presence of electricity. Uh, auxiliary storage, like your hard drive, stores things magnetically. Uh, main storage is now. Auxiliary storage is for later on. Uh, main storage is volatile, which means if you lose power in your computer, um, what's in main storage or RAM is going to be lost. Um, let's take a close look at RAM versus RAM. Random access memory is your workplace. Uh, it's where, when you're working in Microsoft Word and you're typing a letter, it's where your letter is stored. It's, it's where Microsoft Word is stored. When you're playing your favorite game, it's been loaded up from the hard drive from auxiliary storage and placed into RAM. RAM uh, is a very small component of main storage, but things have been burned onto the ROM chip. Uh, the things that have been burned onto a ROM chip are your startup instructions. Uh, we need those startup instructions because when your computer is off and there's absolutely nothing in RAM, when you fire up your computer, the startup instructions are dumped into RAM. Those startup instructions tell the CPU to go to the hard drive and find the entire operating system like Mac OS X or your Windows XP or your Windows 7 operating system and load the operating system from your hard drive into RAM, giving you your, your desktop. So we need those startup instructions that are stored on the ROM disk. Um, also at the top of the, uh, the diagram, you'll notice that we have a modem. And it doesn't make any difference. Uh, the term modem I'm using very loosely. The modem is basically your connection out to the internet. And all of our computers there, at least most of our computers, are certainly connected to the internet. Uh, the computer is both a tool for uh, productivity as well as communication. Uh, I also want to show you briefly, uh, this is an example of a hard drive, a metal platter, a metal disk, and things are stored on this hard drive magnetically. This is inside your computer. This is your C drive. Um, this particular hard drive has three metal disks and data is stored on both surfaces uh, of each of the three disks. Uh, this is an example of RAM or main storage. It's an old example of a RAM chip. Uh, things are stored on here electronically. Things are stored on here magnetically.